Yellowstone, magma rising, or just surface drama? Yellowstone National Park has once again become the focus of global scientific concern. In August 2025, a magnitude 3.9 earthquake shook the region beneath the Norris Geyser Basin, rattling windows as far as 30 miles away. At the same time, the Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted with one of its powerful bursts, sending columns of boiling water and steam hundreds of feet into the frigid winter air. To many visitors and observers, the timing felt ominous. Was the shaking connected to Yellowstone's underground magma chamber? Was this a warning sign of something much larger brewing beneath the park? Scientists with the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, moved quickly to calm fears. They confirmed that while the geysers, eruptions, and small quakes seem dramatic, they are normal signs of a highly active hydrothermal system. The geysers, hot springs, and steam vents are powered by heat escaping from a vast reservoir of magma deep underground. But there is no evidence that magma is rising toward the surface in a way that would lead to a catastrophic eruption. Still, researchers admit that Yellowstone is anything but quiet. In May 2025, a small hydrothermal explosion at Black Diamond Pool sent water and debris flying another reminder of the raw, pressurized energy trapped beneath the park's crust. Adding to the intrigue, a study published earlier this year revealed a magma cap located about 3.8 kilometers below the surface. This structure acts like a pressure buffer, venting gas and heat upward through the geysers, ironically making a volcanic eruption less likely, not more imminent for park visitors watching Steamboat roar to life or feeling the ground tremble underfoot. The reassurance of scientists is often drowned out by the visceral reminder that Yellowstone sits atop one of the largest and most dangerous volcanoes on Earth. Hawaii Kilauea, Episode 31, A Fiery Spectacle while Yellowstone remains mostly a stage for steam and tremors, Hawaii Ice Kilauea Volcano continues to demonstrate what true volcanic power looks like. On August 22nd to 23rd, 2025, Kilauea's Episode 31 eruption unfolded in breathtaking fashion. For more than 12 hours, lava surged from vents within the Halema Umayu crater. Jets of molten rock blasted into the night sky, with fountains reaching nearly 1,000 feet high, taller than the Eiffel Tower. Sheets of lava spilled across the crater floor, covering nearly three quarters of Halema Umayu in just half a day. In total, geologists estimated 10.9 million cubic yards of lava were expelled, 
reshaping the summit crater once again. Despite the violence of the eruption, officials stressed that it posed no immediate danger to nearby communities. The eruption remained confined within the crater, though its scale and intensity reminded everyone of Kalawia's long history of devastating lava flows that once buried entire towns. Scientists collected new samples of tephra and lava, hoping to better understand the evolving magma system beneath the volcano for Hawaiians and visitors alike. The eruption was a display of nature's raw beauty and danger, a living laboratory of volcanism in action. Mount Etna, August Lava Rivers in Sicily, Meanwhile in Europe, Mount Etna, one of the world's most active volcanoes, staged its own performance in August 2025. A new fissure opened at nearly 3,000 meters elevation on the volcano's southern flank, spilling glowing rivers of lava downslope. Unlike Kalawia's explosive fountains, Etna's activity this time was quiet and effusive. With lava advancing slowly across the rugged terrain, though the flow reached within two kilometers of popular hiking trails, it never threatened towns or villages on the mountain's lower slopes. To locals in Sicily, Etna's rumblings are both a source of worry and a familiar rhythm of life. Tourists flock to see the glowing spectacle at night, turning the eruption into both a danger and an attraction. Etna's August outburst echoed earlier events in February showing that while the volcano's eruptions may vary in intensity, its activity is far from over signs in contrast, Yellowstone versus Kalawea versus Etna when viewed together. These three volcanic giants reveal the diverse faces of Earth's geologic unrest. Yellowstone is dominated by hydrothermal energy and earthquakes a giant under pressure but still in slumber. Kalawia is in an active eruptive phase, producing staggering amounts of lava in bursts of intense but contained activity. Etna represents the slow, steady lava flow, a reminder that eruptions are not always explosive but can still reshape landscapes.